It's Class B semi or quarterfinal action. Number three, Scott's Bluff against the defending champs, the number six, Beatrice Orangeman. Scott's Bluff with the basketball early on. And they get the first bucket of the game, Trevor Schwartz. But he would sit the rest of the first half with foul trouble, leaving the door open for Beatrice. Elliot Jurgens, no look. And he finds Luke Feist for an easy deuce at the cup. And that's part of a 10-0 run for Beatrice to take a 10-2 lead. A lot of that damage done by Tucker Timmerman. He finished with a game-high 12 points. Scott's Bluff, though, they started to feel it a little bit in the second quarter. A three ball from the edge. That's Austin Tyne with that connection. Trying to work their way back into the game. It's Tyler Hari from the mid-range. And that gives Scott's Bluff the 13-12 lead. Part of a 9-0 run by the Bearcats to get back into the game. Then Austin Tyne turns the corner and puts it through. To start out the second half, a 12-0 run by the Bearcats there to start out the third quarter. It was Tyler Hari from the perimeter. That was an 11-point lead, and you thought maybe here's the Bearcats pulling away and putting it away, but no. Beatrice starts to work its way back in. Another Jurgens assist to find Luke Feist, who finished with eight points. Now it's Jurgens creating again. He goes off glass this time, and it's a three-point game. How about some more? Elliot Jurgens starts out near mid-court, shakes and bakes one defender, gets uh, up to challenge the next, sinks it, one-point game. So midway through the fourth quarter, and this one's tight. Scott's bluff up three, and Austin Tyne makes it up five. Blow by past Luke Feist, two-possession lead. Is that good for the Bearcats? Well, it's not quite enough yet. Beatrice going to work back into it. Crew Mainz unloads. Knocks down his first field goal of the game from the left corner. Remember that spot because it's coming up right here. Jurgens to Shelton Crawford. And the junior fills it up to give the Orangemen the lead. He hadn't made a shot all game. He had multiple air balls, but was right on the mark there. Then to finish things off, the backdoor cut goes wrong for the Bearcats off of Crawford's leg. Jurgens heaves to midcourt and it winds up with the Orangeman and Luke Feist for the game ceiling lay-in. And Beatrice comes from behind the Crawford three, the Feist lay-in and the defense in the end against Harris. And they're moving on. <laughs> And Sheldon Crawford loves it. Beatrice gets Ron Colley in the semifinals.